damn it, Jack. Come here. I have no clue what to do with this. No, it's my eyes. I gotta see what to do, dingling. I said, don't microwave it. Don't screw around. Not to mention, it's all over your awesome shirt. Don't know. What you do with a beautiful shirt on and get it in your eyes. Am I ever right about anything, Jack? Help me! In my eyes! Okay, Jack. Ah! You seem fine. Ah! Now you're putting water. I didn't say put water. You're supposed to let it cool before eating it, dickweed. <laughs> that glow-in-the-dark ding a is Jack. And when he ignored his dad's advice yet again, he ended up looking like he took a load from the Incredible Hulk. <laughs> Microwaves were developed by busy scientists who didn't want to wait around all day for the smell of burnt popcorn. It's a tanning bed for food that makes your meals mushy, wet, and scalding hot. Then why am I always having to finger my burrito for cold spots? Because I enjoy it. They say you're not supposed to stand in front of microwaves but you're reheating five-day-old Panda Express. So would cancer really be that bad? <laughs> if you don't want me staring at it, make that stupid mesh window easier to see through and stop spinning my food like it's at a car show. <laughs> Just don't be one of those jerks that acts all superior because you don't own a microwave. Oh, we get it. You live in Portland and prepare meals from your garden. <laughs> I'm a grown-up who has a job. Like myself as a teen, Jack is all about experimentation. Did Neil Armstrong worry about ruining his awesome shirt when he allegedly walked on the moon? No one knows. That's why I flew Jack to L.A., where people only have microwaves so they can tell if the power went out while they were on vacation in this week's Web Redemption. Hey, Jack. Hey, Daniel. I'm this close to proving that global warming is a hoax perpetuated by liberal scientists. What's in the crock pot? Please, Jack. Put the lid on it. Do you have any idea how long it takes to slow cook glow sticks? No. Me neither. No one does. This is a first for science. What grade are you in? Um, I'm a sophomore. High school? Yes. How's that going? It's going. What were you doing that day? Well, I had just gone to the Halloween store, and I saw these glow sticks, and I'm like, I gotta have some glow sticks. It's Halloween. And I remembered this video that I had seen previously about this guy who microwaved glow sticks, and they got really bright. Oh, OK. Yeah. So my dad had warned me, don't do it. OK, wait, well, you ran it past your father first? Like, hey, here's an awful idea. What are your thoughts? Yeah. <laughs> I do that a lot. He said, do not do that. He didn't say don't do it. He didn't say don't do it. He said, it's a, like, it's a bad idea. And, and he, th he, thought that was, he thought that was enough. He yeah. didn't realize that he's working with a monkey brain. <laughs> yeah. So I went and I put it in the microwave, and it worked the first time. Wait a second. How long did you put it in for? The first time, 10 seconds. What did you do when you had your super bright glow stick? I took pictures of it, and I was excited. <laughs> I was, because I had a bright glow stick. So then I put it in the freezer. W why? Opposite effect. What, what, does that make it not glow? Pretty much. And for a long time. It la that lasts for like four days. Yeah, it's gonna not glow forever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was the goal. Attempt two. So I wanted to put it in for longer and I wanted to videotape it to send to my girlfriend. It didn't go as smoothly. Is that the first time you've had a hot load sprayed in your face? <laughs> I think so, oh. yeah. What did it taste like? I can't even describe it. It's nothing that you want to taste. You'd be surprised what I'd like to taste. Not to mention, it's all over your awesome shirt. Don't come out. What you do with a beautiful shirt on. That's really funny that your dad said that. Your, your awesome, beautiful shirt. It was a beautiful shirt. Past tense, it's ruined? No, I'm wearing it right now. Oh, that's it? Yeah, that's it. Why did he like that shirt so much? Well, my mom buys it for him. He sees, like, the prices that come in. Mm hmm I respect that. Yeah. Your father kept saying, am I right about anything? Am I ever right about anything, Jack? Has he ever been right about anything? To my concern, no. Your dad called 911. No, I had a son that got the stuff in his eyes, and then I finally found the directions of what to do for it, so I'm, I'm OK. Did they actually show up to the house? Yes, they did. You know what? I'm glad they showed up, because he, the way that he got him off the phone quickly, I was like, man, if they just let that slide, that could have been any murderer. Yeah. Have you ever made anything in the oven? No, I, that's a girl thing. What? The best chefs in the world are men. They use stovetop. They do not use oven. It's more they, of like They a, use stovetop? And like right. grills. You are, literally, I don't, have your parents had you tested? Is this your thing? You like to do dangerous, dumb stuff all the time? Yeah, I've built one of those aerosol cannons. What's an aerosol cannon? 
you like get a pipe. Uh -huh, okay, uh, as soon as I hear this, I think you should be flagged, immediately yanked out of school, and put in some juvie. What do you want to do with your life? Well, actually, I want to be an architect, but then I learned that that requires a lot of math. I'm thinking like an architect manager. I just thought about that like a week ago. You can't just put manager after a profession and think that's a job. I'd like to be an astronaut manager. That would probably be a high paid job. Sure, because, you know, you get to manage the astronauts. You get to fly up, you don't have to actually drive. Yeah. Dingling, your early microwaving work was groundbreaking. I knew I was onto something. But we need to expand our horizon. We owe it to the scientific community to find out what happens when you microwave other dumb shit. Are these glasses going to protect me? No, but you look cool. Oh, it's beautiful. Whoa. Okay, okay. Do you want me to take them out of the carton? No, keep the smell in there. I think eggs explode, though, right? Now, if this doesn't turn into a pumpkin spice latte, I don't understand thermodynamics. Doesn't it make you just want to curl up with a nice book and put on some nipple clamps? We're going for max time limit on a TV dinner. Whoa, what are you, crazy? We got to vent it. You're a good assistant. This can last you all month. Just reheat it when you're hungry. If my calculations are correct. This should open up a wormhole into the fifth dimension and make those cool little sparky things. Okay, Jack, people only use 10% of their microwaves. We need to use the other 90% to save the world. <laughs> All right, Jack, we're here at ISIS headquarters. You sure about this? What are you two dinglings doing here? We're blowing up ISIS, Dad. Your son's going to be a part of history. We will live in fear no longer. Hey, nincompoops, that's not ISIS. Child Care Crisis Prevention Headquarters. Why would ISIS advertise their American headquarters? OK, I mean, sure, now that makes a lot of sense. Jack, you're in a lot of trouble. If you don't get these microwaves off, you can kiss that awesome shirt goodbye. Why did you put a bomb in a microwave? OK, we thought nuking a bomb would make it a nuclear bomb. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. We need to get out of here now. But what about all the kids inside? If any kids know how to deal with crisis, it's these kids from ISIS. Am I ever right about anything? I've never listened to my dad either. And now I'm rich and famous. Ish.